Hi guys, welcome sa ating panibagong video tutorial. Ngayon sasagutan natin itong problem. And this problem is also under sa deflection. At isusolve natin to using double integration method. So to start, compute the value of ELY at the mid span for the beam loaded. So ito yung beam natin. If E is equal to 10 gigapascal, what value of I is required to limit the mid span deflection to 1 over 360 of the span? So, hahanapin daw natin yung value ng I sa beam na ito. So, yung beam natin is merong UDL with a value of 300 newton per meter. And yung span ng UDL natin is for good for 2 meters lang. And as you can see, this beam is in simply supported beam. Meaning yung R1 and R2 is nasa duluhan. So, yung gagawin natin guys, or yung first step na gagawin natin is to solve for this R1 and R2. So, now as you can see, the value of R1 is 450 newton and R2 is 150 newton. So, we can replace the value of R1 as 450 and R2 as 150. Next step na gagawin natin guys is to cut this beam and solve for internal moment. So, nakat na natin siya guys. And since walang ganitong itsura sa double integration method, we're in yung UDL natin is away from our cutting section. So, yung gagawin natin is mag add tayo ng UDL sa part na to and ika-counteract natin yan sa baba. So, ito na siya guys. Dinagdagan ko siya ng another UDL na may value na 300 newton meter and kinounter ako siya sa baba so that this so that this portion is also like equals to 0. Okay? So, yung gagawin na natin is to solve for M. So, internal moment natin. So, ito yung magiging M natin. Hanapin natin yung M. So, dito tayo magsasum sa part na to and assume natin na yung counterclockwise is positive. So, we have M so, ito na yan mismo, minus, ng 450, yung ikot niya, to point dito is, yung distance niya is x. So, 450, x. And then, meron tayong 300. So, paano natin maanap yung concentrated load ng UDL? So, simply UDL, or yung UDL niya, multiply natin sa span, and divide by 2. Okay? So, magiging 300, multiply sa x, and yung this, and yung, uh, kalahati ng x is x over 2. So, yung ikot nyo is positive which is similar sa counterclockwise with this point. Yung last na si itong 300 newton na nasa baba. So, bali, dinagdag ko na yung 300 newton meter na dito ginawa ko siyang as 1 kasi same lang sila ng UDL unlike dito na nasa baba nga lang siya. So, therefore, dalawa yung uh, magiging UDL natin. Yung sa taas and yung sa baba. Okay? So, yung last na UDL natin is magiging negative 300 kasi yung ikot niya is pag ganun, which is uh, opposite sa ikot ng moment M natin so negative 300 and yung distance niya is x itong distance is 2 meter therefore x minus 2 and yung moment arm niya is x minus x so this is 2 meter kasi so magiging x minus 2 divided by 2 minus 2 over 2 Kung simplify natin to, M minus 450X and this is 300 divided by 2 magiging 150X squared then ito magiging minus 150X minus 2 squared equals 0. So back na 150 kasi 300 divided by 2 then X minus 2 times X minus 2 nagiging X minus 2 squared. So that is all equals to 0. Next thing na nagagawin natin guys is to transpose this term outside ng equal sign. So finally, nahanap na natin yung value ng M. So ito yung equivalent niya. So transpose natin yung 450. So yung transpose natin yung mga terms outside ng equal sign. So ito na siya. And then yung M na ito is magagamit natin sa formula ng ELY double prime. So sa substitute natin yung M dito. And i-integrate ito term twice. So erase muna natin and i rewrite Ito na yung magiging itsura niya. And then we need to integrate it twice. So, sulat natin yung first integration niya. So, ito na siya guys. Huwag natin kakalimutan lagyan ng constant of integration. And then lastly, yung second integration niya. So, this is the magiging working equation natin. So, this is the second integration of this function. So, ang gagawin natin is yung boundary condition. So, kung yung x natin is 0, therefore, yung deflection natin is magiging 0. So, hanapin natin yung c2. So, obviously, c2 is equal to 0. And lastly, if x is equals to 4 from this uh, support, yung y natin is equals to 0. So, substitute natin. 
So, meron tayong ELY. So, yung Y is equal to 0. Therefore, this term is considered as 0. 75 times X. X is 4. X is 4. X is 4. So, 4 minus 2 is 2. And X is 4. So, as you can see, we can solve for C1. So, we type nyo lang sa calculator to guys. Then, makukuha natin na yung C1 is equal to negative 450 newton meter square. So, this would be our complete equation for the ELY for this beam. Okay? So, nahanapin natin yung C1 and yung main goal natin is to solve for I. So, hanapin natin yung I since given naman yung E and yung Y. So, by the way, hindi pa natin nakukuha yung Y but nakastate naman sa given na yung Y natin is 1 over 360 na ating span. So, we can easily solve for our I. So, ang gagawin muna natin is to erase this and isulat natin to dito sa taas. So, kailangan muna natin isolve yung uh, deflection. So, it is stated na 1 over 360 of the span yung deflection. So, therefore, i-multiply natin yung 1 over 360 by L. So, yung L natin is 4 meters. So, this is 4. And simplify, makukuha natin na yung Y is equal to 1 over 90 meter. So, i-convert natin yung meter into millimeter, magiging 100 over 9 millimeter. So, yan na yung value ng Y natin. But before natin i-substitute yung Y dito, kailangan muna natin mahanap yung ELY ng 2 meter kasi midspan yung hinahanap eh. So, para mahanap yung I sa midspan, hanapin muna natin yung EIY sa midspan. So, substitute natin yung X as 2 kasi dito nakalocate yung midspan na. So, 2 meters, so substitute X as 2. So, substitute 2. Okay, and nahanap natin yung EIY sa midspan is negative 500 newton meter cube. So, gagawin natin absolute value yan. So, magiging 5 din. Since nahanap na natin to, we can uh, erase these things up and ito na yung dito na tayo mag-focus. So, ito na yung magiging final working equation natin. So, substitute natin yung mag -even. So, E, meron tayong 10 gigapascal. So, it is equal to 10,000 newton per millimeter square. And then, we have I. So, ito yung unknown natin. I. And then, yung Y kanina na 100 over 9 millimeter. And it's equals to 500 newton meter cube. So, itong new meter cube, convert natin into millimeter. So, magmultiply tayo ng 1000 raised to 3. Okay? And using your calculator, we can easily solve for I. So, I is equals to 4.5 times 10 raised to 6 millimeter raised to 4. So this will be our final answer. So that's all for today guys and hope na nakatulong ko sa inyo. See you sa ating next video tutorial. Thank you for watching and God bless.